Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Naturally LJ here. Thank you guys so much for tuning back in. This video is a highly requested video as you guys know. If you've looked through my library of videos, I have did videos on shampoos and conditioners, deep conditioners, and also the best um creams and butters to for type 4 hair if you're looking for definition so if you have not had a chance yet to check those videos out definitely make sure that you check those videos out i want to first before i even say anything else welcome my brand new subscribers as well as welcome my old subscribers back you guys my page is literally i am watching it grow by the day and i'm so excited to see by the end of this month where I'll be I'm already surpassed 2200 subscribers and some might be like well that's not a lot trust me it means a whole lot to me you know I really appreciate you guys that are subscribing if you are new to this channel if this is your very first video make sure you hit that subscribe button right now um welcome back to my old subscribers the ones that's been rocking out with LJ from day one I appreciate you guys I really really do Jumping right into the video, you guys. This video is going to be about my favorite leave-ins. Um, some leave-ins that I suggest to you guys. And, you know, definitely try them out if you get a chance to. If you've tried any of the leave-ins that I'm talking about, definitely leave it in the comment section below. As I always say in most of my videos, it's very vital that you, if you are a true natu naturalista and you really care about um you know your hair the health of your hair definitely check out the comment section below you guys all of my supporters and my subscribers they comment below i mean i have anywhere from 75 to over 100 comments and i do try my best to comment back to each and every person if it's just thanking you guys for sharing and watching i try to make every person's feel special you guys and i want to continue to try to do that even as my page grow and get larger and bigger which i'm claiming that it will i just believe that it will i am going to try to remain the same from day one as i am right now to even going on higher you guys i really believe and i trust in god that he's taking me somewhere in this natural hair world and i just cannot wait to see what it is that he has for me and i cannot wait to take you guys along the journey with me so now that i've gotten that out of my system again welcome and let's jump right into this video it's going to be all about leave-ins some of my favorite leave-ins um i didn't want to come on here you guys without telling you guys first of all what the purpose of a leave-in conditioner is the purpose of the leave-in conditioner you guys is to definitely it makes detangling very easy for our hair it helps to tame frizz it also makes your hair smoother and shine i am reading some notes that i did right and it also can serve as a detangler for your hair a styler for your hair and a heat protectant now if any of you guys are like me i have my own specific heat protectants that i use that are specifically for heat protectant when i want to stretch my hair for any style that i'm doing but a leave-in conditioner you just read the directions read what that particular product that information on the back of the product is giving you some of the leave-ins that you may have in your stash right now can also be used as a heat protectant um it's widely used to protect um, curly hair natural hair you guys from dryness dryness it aids in moisturizing like I say, smooths your hair, uh, makes it smooth, makes it shinier, tames the frizz. It's so many benefits to a leave-in conditioner. But most of all, I really love those conditioners that's a styler. Because I'm going to be talking about a couple leave-in conditioners that I have that I have just used straight as a styler for my hair. Which means I shampoo, conditioner, throw the leave-in in. And if I'm sealing it with a, a oil, and that's just what I start twisting my hair with or start or start styling my hair with. So definitely, you guys, um, my hair is in a beanie. I'm going to tell you what happened. And I also want to, well, I'm not welcome, but solicit you guys to, uh, if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely, definitely follow me on Instagram like right now. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe right now. But you guys, when I... What I've started doing here lately is definitely being a little bit more open with my life, of course. Um, and I've been going on live with my YouTube, not YouTube, but my Instagram followers. I have not yet 
reach the number of subscribers that I have to have. And I think it's like 10,000, if I'm not mistaken, in order for me to go live here on YouTube. But definitely, I use the tools that I have with me right now, and that's Instagram, and I go live. And you guys, last night, I washed my hair, and I'm going to talk about that just for a little bit. I washed my hair with a particular brand, and I twisted it up. Well, when I got up this morning, I didn't start washing my hair till around 11.45 last night. I went on live, you guys, and my lovely subscribers and Instagram followers were up with me, and some of them stayed up with me until the last twist was twisted, you guys. I mean, I was on live for probably like an hour just talking to other naturalistas about the different products. I had naturalistas asking me different questions. We were just talking about, of course, natural hair, you guys. But let me know if you guys... I, I don't, I don't want to propose that question yet. I'm not, don't let me know anything. Definitely, I would suggest that you follow me on Instagram, you guys. Um, because when I go live, try, if you can, to join in. It's a more in-depth look at my life, you guys. I'm kind of outside of this camera. I'm actually live. I'm talking to you guys about whatever is going on. I'm probably doing my hair, doing makeup, or just talking to you guys. Just seeing how your day went. Telling you guys about my day. So, if you have not yet followed me on Instagram, definitely follow me on Instagram. And when you see me go live, I need you to hit that button to come on and join in on the live feed. Okay, so jump been right in last night i washed my hair you guys and i have not yet did a tutorial video but i did want to tell you guys about this and it's a purpose because i'm going to talk about the leave-in i washed my hair last night with the talia wajit green apple and aloe shampoo and i won't get into how i feel about this product right yet because this video is not about this in particular just know that i didn't like it and we'll talk about that why later. Uh, but I did want to tell you guys about the green apple and aloe with coconut nutrition leave-in conditioner from Talia YG. If you have not yet tried this product, this is a highly a naturally LJ highly recommendation. I really love this product, you guys. And excuse me if I look a little washed out. I'm trying some new things. Actually, I had some new lighting put up in my um, the area where I record, you guys. So, I hope this... I think I look pretty good. I don't look washed out. Um, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, new lighting. So, I'm just playing around with some different lighting. Then I don't have my normal lighting that normally sits in the back. So, I hope I look okay. That look okay. Anyway, uh, this is the leave-in conditioner by Talia YG, the green apple and aloe. You guys, this stuff, I was very, very pleased with this. I got this at the World Natural Hair Show when I went a few weeks ago. And I was very, very pleased. As you can see, I did use this product. Um, very pleased. And I would when I get ready to do a video on Talia YG's green apple and aloe, I will tell you, I will go more in-depth with these. I'm going to try not to, I'm going to try to touch on them just give my thoughts a little bit about these products that I'm talking about. And if you want a more in-depth video on any of these products, leave it in the comment section below. Because after I do this video, I think it'll be safe for me to go ahead and start doing other tutorials, you guys, about different products. Just the product line, the hair tutorials and stuff. But what my subscribers ask for, I try my best to deliver. And you guys wanted a leave-in video. But if you have not tried or if you've been wondering about the Talia YG Green Apple and Aloe Leave-In Conditioner, I highly recommend. It is naturally LJ approved. I highly recommend this, you guys. It was really good. It made my hair soft. It had a sheen to my hair had a sheen to it. And it really helps that it smells good. It smells just like a green apple. It's green apple laffy taffy. So if you're not really big into smells, this may be a problem. I really enjoyed the the little what do you call this thing? The little spray, you know. But I really, I was at my mom's brand new house. My mom got a new house, you guys. I'm so excited for her. And as I was spraying it on my hair, you guys, it was really, it sprays out a lot. Um, I don't know if you guys can. Wait a minute, I actually have it. So, y'all see how, and I'm spraying it on my hair, and I was scared it was going on her walls, and I was like, uh-uh. So, what I started doing was spraying it in my hand and just adding it to my hair. But, you guys, it's in a cute little bottle. I really, oops, oops, what, 
okay there it's locked now it's in a cute little spray bottle it smells really good it's like it's it's a little runny but i mean some leave-ins are runny some leave-ins are thick like a cream and we're going to talk about that if you look been thinking about this product i would highly recommend this one um that's that uh the next i'm going to talk about is ally k naturals lemongrass leave-in conditioner i've had this pro i've used this product since the beginning of my natural journey my natural hair journey and i really highly recommend this product it smells so good you guys any product i'm talking about don't forget to leave it in the comment section below let me know your thoughts on it don't forget to also read the comment section below it's very vital because other naturalistas are pouring information into this video that i may not i may have missed or i may not know about and you guys it is just very vital information and you i mean if you're like me I'm always constantly wanting to know and learn about natural hair. So, it's just very beneficial. This product smells so good, okay? This is the lemongrass. And it's in a nice little cute spray bottle. And it sprays out. It's kind of wild too, you guys. Ugh, it's kind of wild. But it says it's for kinky, curly, wavy, or straight hair, you guys. If you've tried this product, I highly recommend this. This is one of my favorites that I use from time to time. Um... What I do not like, and I will say this, and I'm probably going to sound a little contradictive because I just talked about, and I'll tell you the difference. This is a much thicker, when you spray it on, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, you know what I'm talking about. This is a much thicker leave-in versus, this is the Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Detangling, what we say about <laughs> leave-in conditions, detang they aid in detangling leave in um uh, detangling and conditioning leave in conditioner and you guys this product is just very i do not like products that are in a not it's not even the spray bottle just a liquid it's really liquid i'm not a fan of leave-in conditioners also here's a lot of bodies fortify me strengthening leave-in conditioner it's another liquid one so, I purchased these just for the heck of it because a lot of body came out with this. So, I was just like, I got to have it on my product stash just to have it. Tried it out. As you can see, I have used it. And this one also, after a while, it'll settle. And it says shake to activate. It'll settle. It'll be blue, real pretty blue, and then frothy at the top. But then when you shake it, this is after you shake it, you're supposed to spray it in your hair. Um, this one right here, you just start spraying. And they both smell so good. But I am just not a fan of just the the runny the runny leave-ins that's just i'm just not so it, i don't really have too much to say about those products because i really don't use them and i think if i did even start spraying the lot of body in my hair you guys after i didn't probably do my whole entire head with it because i just did not like it um what's next Here's another cream of nature. This is the Pure Honey Not Away Leave-In Detangler. This product is very good. It's very inexpensive, you guys. If you're looking for a good detangler, it's thick, it's creamy, it's like a... Yeah, you got the... You gotta do this. It smells so good. Their Pure Honey line, it just smells like a baby. Like, I mean, not a baby, but it just... Just that clean and just soft the honey doesn't knock you out honey is not strong anyway but it's a you can smell the shea butter it just smells so good and i highly recommend this product if you're looking for a good leave-in detangler um not leave-in detangler well detangler leave-in conditioner period because we said that leave-ins they aid in detangling of your hair you guys this product is really good i don't think you will go wrong with it at all um, this is the Myel Organics, the Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. It's one of my favorites. As you can see, I've definitely used it all the way down there, especially when I'm using that entire line. You guys, this is Balm.com. It says it's a leave-in detangler for thick, curly hair. So, this line in particular was aiding towards, um, or geared towards thick, curly hair, type 4 hair. So, for those natural leases that are looking for something, it's very moisturizing, the smell is absolutely amazing. Like, I still have not yet ran across a product line that beats when the pomegranate honey came out. You guys, 
the smell is just absolutely amazing i this can also be used as a moisturizer because you know leave-ins can be used as a moisturizer as well i've just put this on my hair right before i get ready to style with the twist and souffle thick creamy make my hair soft make my hair smell good it's just bomb.com if you've been wondering about this definitely i approve um of course, I'm going to talk about Kinky Tresses. This is the Avocado Infusion Leave-In Conditioner. These are some of my favorite leave-in conditioners you guys I'm telling you about. Y'all know how I feel about Kinky Tresses. This product... Why am I opening it up? <laughs> this product is very thick and creamy. It's like a butter. Not a butter, like a... a a cream a cream <laughs> not a butter a cream this is one of those products you guys that you can use alone if you need to basically when i say use alone shampoo condition your hair and go immediately into putting this on your hair and start twisting or braiding or whatever you guys see the consistency of that it's like a cream and but it's a leave-in so leave-ins come in all do I want to say shapes and forms? Not shapes and forms, but just all forms, all consistencies. They come in butters. They come in thick like creams. I'm going to talk about another one that I really, really like. Um, and they come in, like I say, the liquid form. If you, you know, let me know. Comment below and let me know your likes and dislikes as far as leave-in conditions, you guys. Um, here's another cream of nature. Cream of nature, you guys. I will say, I will continue to say, when they came out with their natural hairline, you guys, they just completely rocked it. With the different, this is the argan oil. This is the pure honey. I have, of course, the coconut milk back there. They just came out with just bomb products. This is another, it says it's a leave-in hair milk. But I think when I seen leave-in, I kind of consider this as a leave-in conditioner. But it's also a hair milk. This is another product. If you guys, this is probably like my second, third bottle. Because I've used this. And I really might need to go back to the drawing board and do a video. If I have not done one, I can't remember. This product right here, you guys, is the Argan Oil Butter. The Argan Buttermilk Leave-In Hair Milk. Some of my best twist outs today, I'll say. And I forgot about this. So, let me know, you guys, in the comments below. If you guys want to see a video on just this this one right here. Because I definitely would do it. It says it instantly moisturizes, defines curls, and controls frizz with exotic shine. And it's not lying. This product is very affordable. Maybe five or six bucks at your local beauty supply store or either at a Sally's. You cannot go wrong if you're looking for not only a leave-in, but also something to go ahead and immediately start twisting, braid out, three-strand twisting, whatever style you're going for. Um, last but not least, well, got one, got two more. This is another one, you guys. This is the Soft As Can Be 3-in-1. This is by the main choice, you guys. It, it's a co-wash, a leave-in, and a detangler. Now, me personally, I don't like using the same product, the same product for everything. Me personally, I like to pick up my shampoo, pick up my conditioner, pick up my leave-in, pick up my salad. But this is a co-wash, a leave-in, and a detangler. It's about empty, so I'll probably co-wash with it. I don't think I've used it for a leave-in. I probably, if anything, co-wash with this, you guys. But this is by the main choice, and it's a really good product as well. And last but not least, this is Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. You guys, this stuff is really good, as you can see. <laughs> As you can see, I've not only used this as a... And it's a piece of hair in there. I'm not even getting ready to reach in there and get this. Y'all know LJ do her hair. Okay? Not doing it. Um, But <laughs> I've had a big one, and then I've had this size jar. Um, You guys, I have definitely twisted my hair with this product alone. Just used it as a styler. There again, leave-ins can be used as a styler if you've ever wondered about this product. The only thing I did not like about this product, it kind of gives you that that play-doh-ish type smell if you guys remember back in school when we played with play-doh that or just just play-doh period that play-doh-ish smell that's the only con that i have to say about this other than that it's a really good product you guys i really think it'll be very beneficial beneficial to your hair um especially type 4 hair and i can really really talk about type 4 hair and that's the thick the curly the wavy type hair that would just kind of be unruly and just very disrespectful at times i mean because type 4 hair can be rude and disrespectful i highly recommend any of these leave-ins that i've talked about probably except 
this was kind of like my dislikes and it's because of it being runny i don't like i don't like the spray leave-ins it has to be um kind of thick in consistency um and I, like I said, I didn't want to contradict myself because this is a more, it's not as runny. And I promise you, I, it, 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 y'all see that? And it's not going anywhere. It's literally staying right there and it's not going anywhere. If I spray that other stuff in my hands, you guys know it's going to run all down into my, my bracelets and stuff. But this is how the consistency of the leave-in for the uh, Alley K Naturals Lemongrass leave-in is. And I just absolutely love it. Y'all don't know what's going on out there. It's an ambulance going. But yeah, seriously, um, those are some of the leave-ins that I highly recommend. You guys, I also wanted to throw in there for the first time today, I did use the new... Um, four leaf clover super hole and you guys i'm really loving the results i just kind of when i woke up this morning like i said you guys my hair was not dry at all it just was not dry but that's what i get for doing my hair what got finished maybe about 12 30 1 o'clock this morning and my hair was not dry by the time it was time for me to take it loose for church so just wanted to tell you guys i'm still I'm not even going to say I'm on the fence. I'm absolutely loving how it's laying down. I put this on this morning around 9, 30, 10 o'clock. And it's still laying down. It is still laying down. So, this might have to be. We'll, we'll talk about that in another video. Just wanted to let you guys know what I was laying my hair down with. But, yeah, definitely leave me some comments in the section below, you guys. Let me know if any of these products you've tried, how you feel about them. If it's some products that I didn't mention, you know, you guys know I love conversing with you and reading what you have to say. And definitely reading your tips on different and just your suggestions on other leave-ins that I may not have tried or just other products in general. Okay, you guys, I'm going to wrap it up because I'm about 21 minutes into this video. But good information, good information, good information. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you are not yet following me on Instagram, please do so. If you see me go on live, please, y'all, come in, talk to me. I love talking to you guys, period. I just love you guys. Thank you guys so much again for rocking out with me in this video. Leave me some comments. My next video, I don't know when. I'm not even going to throw it out there. I don't know when, but it'll be very soon. Um, if you have any suggestions, questions, leave them in the comment section below so we can converse about it. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.